We can see the bridge. Homemade peanut brittle. That'll be a good bite. I just had a thought come to mind. Mama. Let's keep on going. Stay tuned. <laughs> Harry. But we're gonna go to the Rusty Bite Cafe. <laughs> okay y'all it is about two o'clock in the afternoon i was about to start making supper but titus called he's on his way home and he said he thought about going to get something to eat and hike into a little waterfall so that wins that definitely wins over cooking supper so we'll save this for another night can anybody guess what it's gonna be it's a new recipe i'll give you a hint it's a soup Everybody. Titus just got home and he brought fruit cake. I've been chewing horses, but I stopped at the Sunrise Grocery in Blairsville. It's and the one we showed the other day that had the old truck out yeah. front and the Coca-Cola sign and all that. Really yeah. nice store. I enjoy those type of stores. Uh, especially this time of year, it just brings joy to your soul. When we went to one of those apple places the other day, Titus almost got a fruit cake there. He was looking at them hard, yeah, but he didn't get one. It's been a long time since I ate one of these right here. Now, Fallon's daddy really loved it. My daddy loved fruitcake. Yeah, he loved it. Let's see what this tastes like. I got to be honest with you. That one looks like it's going to be good. It's heavy. That's how I feel like you know a fruitcake's going to be good. It's got to be heavy? It's heavy. Heavy means moist. Oh, okay. I mean, that's just my thoughts. All right. That's my thing. There you go. This is Miss Yoder's old-fashioned fruitcake. That's really good. I got to be honest with you. I've ate them in... My past life, whenever, not a past life, <laughs> but in the past when I was a kid, that I like. But the, the ones that I yeah. got when I was a kid from like Dollar General. That's scary. <laughs> Family it, Dollar. It was not that. No, that's good. This is good. Beware of those that you see in the dollar stores. <laughs> Don't do it. Even Walmart sometimes. Yeah, those are light. It's a little frightful. <laughs> yeah, they're light. Find a heavy one. Find that's a good, good heavy one. Mm -hmm. And you got a good one. <laughs> Here's yours. Jonah's got his. Manny's is down there. I think this is Daddy's. Mm-hmm. And here's mine. Forks are right here. All right, we're taking the trail. The Soto Falls Trail this way. We're gonna start taking y'all to some different yeah, places. Yeah, I wanna go to all the waterfalls that we're are- We're gonna go to all the waterfalls actually. In the world. The earth has. The whole earth. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be beyond the Soto. Notice. Bears are active in this area. Do not approach them or feed them. I was shooing horses up here today, and uh, they were going just right when you come out this driveway, right there. This is a pretty bridge. Do not climb on waterfalls, Daddy. I know that you were thinking about doing that. You better not climb on this waterfall. <laughs> myself I want to climb up a lot of this stuff. Yeah like, on the other side they have uh, campsites and everything over there so there's some people camping and some are burning fires and that's smelling beautiful. Another bridge. It smells good here in the little smoky mouth. It does smell good in these little smoky. <laughs> we got a fisherman yeah. I've reached the top. You have to be careful on this bridge. That's right. This one's pretty rocky, huh? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Watch your step or slay. That's right.
squat? There has been a Sasquatch right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. What are you doing? Just calling for you. You calling for me? <laughs> Watch out for that limb, Sass. You're trying to say we're Sasquatches. <laughs> Sasquatches? Yeah. How would you even say that yeah. in English? I can say it in Chinese. Okay, that was the upper falls. Now, we'll go to the lower falls. We're going to the lower falls. That's where we're going, right there. <laughs> Oh, I see a squirrel with a little something in his mouth. Oh, is that a squirrel? Yeah. And folks, that's why you wear safety glasses when you come into the forest. Yeah. Always wear proper safety gear. These squirrels will climb up high and spit down black walnuts. <laughs> they ain't getting squatchy. Right over there's the top of a mountain. See it? Let's keep on going. You can go higher and higher. Yeah, you can. The Upper Falls Trail is a lot less well, we like rugged. Well, we like this channel and show you how you could potentially fall. Also, <laughs> be aware of the main squirrels spitting down hard objects. Make sure you wear proper gear. I want you a fireproof suit on. I want you some goggles. I want you a football helmet on. Be careful when you're out right. here, everybody. What's happening, y'all, is these roots are everywhere. And right now, you can't see them because of all the leaf. It's been leafing a lot. It's been leafing a lot, so it's not in where they may not need to come out here right, right. Go, go to the upper falls just, just and still just be careful. Watch it on Moss Family TV. You ain't gonna stumble nor fall. <laughs> in my opinion, this is a better trail this side than the other one. This is more my style. Right, this is more natural. Rugged. Yeah, and it's, uh, you can tell that people don't take this one as much as they take the other one. When he wants us, he'll turn around and go, -wee, woo -wee. and that means, come on, daddy, sell a squat. <laughs> Hope they got a bench at the top of this one, like they did at the other one. Baddest looking vehicle in this park. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing how it stands out. Right. Among all the rest. Among the rest. I'm still waiting on my flames. Yeah. Put my flames, jack that thing up, put some four wheel drive tires in. Lights on the wheels too. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Pull up in here at night time. Yeah. Everybody here. <laughs> ain't looking right now. But well, they will next time. Of course, I don't want to make nobody cook. Right. Thou shalt not. Hey, Harry. Reach the top. <laughs> Y'all. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toy soldiers Toy at soldiers. the bridge. Oh, they put the ornaments on the tree, There's Daddy. Ornaments on the tree. He's taking a picture of me. <laughs> as soon as November 1st hits. Oh, pew, oh, pew, pew. And lights on houses. Lights on houses, that's right. First stop, the bold peanut place. Fred's famous peanuts. How y'all doing? Doing good? Mm -hmm. I love these little baskets. Do you think we're gonna need a hiking stick? Y'all want me to be like, <laughs> they're 30. They're 30. Moses part the water. <laughs> this works? Yeah, it looks nice. Cause it's not alive, it's nice. <laughs> He asked if that was nice. I said, yeah, because it ain't <laughs> Homemade peanut brittle.
talking about something good. Fred's is... Peanuts got the best apple cider, I think, in town. That's good. <laughs> like, it's hot yes. enough, but it's ready for you to drink it. You yeah. go, Fred. Go, Fred. This smells like let it be Christmas. Right. I'm going to tell you what, buddy. That right there almost starts singing Jingle Bells. <laughs> Back over in there is where you go to hike to Anna Ruby Falls. We went there a while back. We'll link that video down below for y'all. That's the view through our windshield, our dirty windshield. Y'all wanna wash it? Everybody, we fixing to do a quick stop to get us something to eat for lunch. We're doing these uh, stops for, for our people that's further south uh, you want to come up here to the North Pole <laughs> and we want you to know where to eat we want to show you different scenery places the cows got out that oh, I've had to rope cows on the side of the road we want you to visit those sites mm -hmm. the mountain, grill mountain grill yeah they're not open but we're gonna go to the rusty bike cafe an all-american grill you can come here if you got a motorcycle or if you got a bad to the bone minivan. <laughs> right. um, what do they have chocolate milk? I'm not sure. We'll see. What do you want to eat? Chicken? Chicken. Jonah's gonna borrow yours to see what he wants. I think I'm going with the grilled pimento cheese. They also have a blackened chicken sandwich. The blackbird sounds good. It's a blackened and fried chicken tenders with melted pimento topped with rusty sauce on a grilled bun. What, I wonder what rusty sauce is. Shrimp salad sandwich. Oh, they have smoked chicken salad too. We definitely recommend the Rusty Bot Cafe, y'all. That's some good food in there. Now we know why they're so busy. We're gonna sample this buttermilk pie. Now what we wanted was that white velvet cake no, with the strawberry cream cheese, they were out. They didn't have any That's of that. mainly this leftover chicken. chicken. The kids are ready to go to this little hiking thing, so they eat all their stuff, and I said, I'll just take mine with me. All right, let's see what this tastes yeah, like. We got a fork in here. Some people lick the lid of their whipped cream. But proper people like me don't. Right. That's good, mama. Yummy? Uh-huh. Or you tell me? I'll tell you what it tastes like. It's gonna be one of them things we'll take a bite and think about it a minute. Uh-huh, I got it right now, I'm ready. It tastes like a custard pie and a pecan pie. Mixed together. Mixed together, but no pecans. Custard married the pecan. That is good, it's cold too, I like it cold. I like pies cold. Hot coffee, everybody. been saving this until we get up here so everybody know. I'm actually going to tightrope this time. Oh, no, no, no. People have, though. Twice, I think. Well, it's going to be three times, baby. I'm going to cross. <laughs> I brought me a cow rope. I'm going to rope a rock and throw it across. Somebody's going to tie it. I'm going to tie that thing right there with my eyes closed. Top? Rope. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hey, buddy. Be five. Oh. All right. They have a penny press gift shop over here. Yeah, we'll go down them. It smells like a movie theater in here. Right down there, you see the fish. Or right there, and see the snakes. Oh, snakes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Where's the snakes? Oh, there's a black snake on the bottom. Can you open this? No, you can't open it. <laughs> we found oh, the fish. fish. Yeah. It's catfish. Oh, he thinks that catfish just laid an egg right there. Those oh, are rocks. Look at the huge one. Hollywood comes to Tulua. The beautiful scenery around Tulua Falls has been used as a backdrop for numerous films. Let's see which films. 
The Great Locomotive Chase was a 1955 Walt Disney movie. I'd Climb the Highest Mountain. Directed by Henry King, I'd Climb the Highest Mountain was filmed in White County in 1950. Over the years, many people have visited Tallulah Falls, including daredevils, explorers, scientists, and artists. I think I want to look down, but I think I better not. The most spectacular promotional event in the history of Tallulah Falls came on July 18, 1970, when high wire artist Carl Walenda walked across the awesome gorge. That is scary. Oh look, there were tickets to it. Vendor pass, event ticket. That's neat. Oh, there's part of the cable that he walked on. He walked on the cable? Yeah, he walked across the gorge. You'll see how frightening that is when you see the gorge here in a minute. Early European traders. From their first contact with the Cherokees in 1673, English traders made inroads into the wilderness and Cherokee culture that would open the Appalachians to settlement. Appalachian settlers are rugged, independent people who lived by their faith and planted by the moon. Look, here's a Junior Ranger vest. Oh, there's a bracelet if you get one of the pressed pennies to wear your penny. Oh, look, Cece, this is a cherry lip balm and it's a little oh, that's otter. So that's adorable. Here's a periscope. You can grow Bigfoot. <laughs> but that will take 10 hours to grow it. You think it'll take 10 hours? Okay. I'm gonna get the skunk game. We love this game. We're gonna be taking the North Rim Trail. Overlook 2, right here. Here's this trail condition. Very easy, very easy trail so far. Here's Overlook 2. That's amazing. Now that's a waterfall there. This is when you start seeing these warning signs, Daddy. Just in case you're wondering, the water filling station does not work, so come prepared. Lots of steps, y'all. Uh, it feels like there's already been 310, but it said there were just 310, so the leaves on there are pretty, aren't they, Cece? Mm -hmm. We can yeah. see the bridge. That's a good thing is these things are made out of metal, yeah. so you can walk across them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look right here just a second. I'm gonna let y'all look down, but I'm not. I ain't looking down. How's it looking down there? Looking good? Yeah. It's looking good, okay. We just look straight ahead. Just keep your eyes straight ahead and you can say you crossed the Tallulah Gorge. How's it looking, y'all? Oh, don't look down. Woo! I'm looking down. I took a little peek down. That was not good. <laughs> Jonah's already made it to the other side. You want to go see Hurricane Falls? Yeah. Okay, let's go see Hurricane Falls. That was 221 steps. Yeah, 221 steps. I like how they give you those directions, you know? Oh, yeah. You can kind of keep up with... Y'all go out this driveway, take a left, go 400 steps, take another left, and then I want you to go 2,225 steps and a half, and you'll notice that mailbox on the right, that's our mailbox. Yeah. I just had a thought come to mind that all these steps we've gone down, we gotta go back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
right, everybody, it's eggnog season. You know how we do it every year. You've been part of this family for a while. The first know. time we see that eggnog we in the grocery it. store. We get it. Let's see, this is We got Southern, Southern Comfort. Comfort, yeah. This is just the traditional. They have different flavors, but That's this good. is just traditional. Not eggnog always tastes like bubble gum to me. This don't have the bubble gum taste, it's really. You just get the Borden now. Borden. Borden's definitely bubble gum, yeah. McDonald's used to have the eggnog shake. I don't know if they still do, but that completely just tasted like a bubblegum milkshake to me. I'm in the holiday spirit. My heart is actually beating to jingle bells. Jingle bells. While Titus is making supper, I'm gonna make dessert. He's just grilling some hot dogs, so very easy supper tonight. We're gonna have a pumpkin dump cake for dessert. This only takes a few minutes to mix together. About 30 to 40 minutes to bake. We need three eggs. These are some of the Easter egg eggs. We have a green one, kind of a bluish green here and a pink one. The camera does not pick up these colors really good, y'all, but they are really pretty. So we're gonna put the eggs in first. We're gonna whisk them a little bit. We're adding one can of evaporated milk. We're putting in one can of pumpkin. One cup of brown sugar. Now we need three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. This isn't a teaspoon, like measuring spoon, but I'm just, it's got a pumpkin on it, so. That's it for this mixture. We're gonna spray this nine by 13. Mix this all together. So this is just like your fruit dump cakes, apple dump cake, cherry dump cake, whatever. But instead of any fruit, you use pumpkin. We probably won't need anything to scrape it out. It's pretty liquidy there. Those few little clumps of brown sugar, we ain't gonna worry about that. That'll be a good bite. That's what that'll be. <laughs> now we just take this classic yellow cake mix. Sprinkle it all over the top. The last thing we do is pour over this one cup of melted butter. We're just gonna drizzle it like this. Make sure we get a little bit all over. It's going in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes at 350. 